Good morning everyone, it is the 8th of August today, so day four of doing the hallway. I look really hot and really sweaty because I am. I have just cleaned down all of this wall here, well I say all of it, I've cleaned down all of the top of the wall, the bottom of the wall I've left because this is the hole from before. If you've not seen the previous videos then you might want to check them out but I will insert a picture of this hole like above it about what it looked like before. This has had two lots of filler now. It's had one lot over it and then another lot and it's had some plasterboard in it. It needs to set, I also need to sand it down, see what it looks like but it looks so much better. I don't know why they didn't just do that before, like it looks so much better now. It also means that when it comes to painting this wall, I shouldn't be able to see it. So I've sanded the top of the wall down above the pencil line because me and Deck made another pencil line on this wall, which is a meter up. So it's going to be level with this wall. We've sanded it down. Well, I've sanded it down. I've basically done everything to be fair. I felt like a very independent person doing this project. I've sanded down all of the filler holes. I've sanded down the whole wall and just cleaned it. And I wanted to show you guys the um, water. Bearing in mind, like it doesn't look that much different to before I'd cleaned it. it. This is the wall and this is the water of all the muck that has just come off of it. It's a mixture of dust where I've done the sanding, like the sanding dust, and then just muck that was just like on the wall. Yeah, that's nice. I need to leave the wall to dry for a little bit. So I am going to have a rest because I've just done that in about 40 minutes and you don't realize how tall these rooms are. These rooms are really tall. The rooms are so tall. And even though I've only done half a wall, I obviously needed to get on a ladder to do the sanding. And then I was having to move the ladder. And yeah, it's just really exhausting. Uh, I've apparently only done five exercise minutes today though. So love that. So I'm going to have a rest and a drink. Mum's coming around at some point because we're going to go and pick up a couple of garden chairs that I've ordered. But I'm hoping that I'm going to get some of the soft stone. That one there. I'm hoping to get some of on that wall and that wall and up there. Hopefully I'll be able to get two coats on today. But when I do start painting, I'll obviously film it for you guys because I know a lot of people like watching the painting stuff. Just had a break, had a packet of quavers. It's only 10 o'clock and I've already had breakfast and a snack. I'm going to start doing the cutting in on this wall up there and at the top of this one. I probably won't do any rolling until I've been out with my mum. I think it's easier to just buy a new roller than try and swap any of the rollers over that we've got. I'll start off with cutting in on this one. I'm really hoping these two colours go together now. I'm kind of scared that they won't. I'm nervous. I have to get really nervous for cutting in. This one's dried, so I'm gonna go in with this one. I feel like people are gonna be like really concerned that I've not put um, masking tape on, but we're having a block go all the way across for the paneling, so there's not really much point masking tape in it because it doesn't matter if the lines aren't completely straight. Yeah, I really love that. That is so nice, it's so pretty. Right, I'm gonna pause the footage there. Colours go really nice together. I really like them. They go so, so lovely. It almost looks quite browny in this light and it's quite nice actually. But I'll show you what it's like when I've finished the cutting in on this wall and then I'll show you before I do these walls. This is what it looks like now. And this is what it looks like now. I've cut in all around this wall. It took so long. I reckon it probably took about maybe 45 minutes. That was an effort, but to be fair, I did have to have a break because I forgot that this light switch needed some filler around it. So I've ended up leaving that little square, put some filler in. I know that it's not a neat job at all, but it's literally like there's just a hole behind it. So I pulled it out slightly, tried to get a little bit of filler in it and just tried to sort it out. But you know, it can get tidied with the sanding. This is what the paint's looking like. So that's good. I'm going to cut in up there and on this wall because I think that it should take me about an hour to do those two. And then mum should 
should be here because mum wants to take me for a Costa and to Asda to pick up some chairs, like I said before. Because I'm actually going out tonight as well with ladies from dance. We're going to get tapas, so I'm very excited for that. But I'm very aware that I want to get at least one coat of this done today and then hopefully the other coat of it done tomorrow, if not this evening. I'm going to start cutting in up there and there and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. I'm now cutting the little bit up there and this wall here and it looks interesting. It's kind of cool actually because it makes me kind of vision what it's going to look like when it's all the same colour and this is all filled in. I think I think it looks really nice. I really like it. This is what it looks like from this side. It was really tricky cutting in round our alarm and everything and like up there it was really tricky. Uh, like the alarm doesn't come off the wall. I don't actually know how to get it off. That bit up there was really easy. I did actually think about just painting the whole bit in but then I thought if I used a roller it'd be more even coverage so I didn't. This wall looks like really dry now as well so definitely ready for roll on. I think I'll probably wait and do it after I get back. I really love these two colours together. They look so good. It's a lot more brown in here than it is in the living room. I think it'll look so good when the panelling's on it as well. I'm really happy. now i'm so impressed i love it i think the colors work so nice together and i'm absolutely obsessed with them i've only done this wall to start off with i've still got these two walls to do but oh it looks so nice i really like it i think it'll need definitely one more coat it might need two i'm going to do the painting of these two and then i'll show you what it looks like afterwards so this was the wall that i'd already done and then these are the other two walls it looks so good i absolutely love it so walking in it looks like this uh, i think it looks so nice and it's gonna look so good with all the paneling on it it's actually the next day now because i went out with my dance friends to tapas which was really lovely then i just chilled for the evening so i've not done any other coats on this it needs another one you can still see some little bits of blue through it and you can see some like little lines in it so it definitely does need another coat this has had its last lot of filler so that can get sanded down which is very exciting and there will be no hole in the wall anymore it will all be level and lovely and you won't even be able to tell that that was there when it's all painted and the paneling's up so that is very good so i think i'm going to crack open the paint now do the cutting in again which i'm really not looking forward to because it took forever last time do the roll in again which didn't take as long last time but Still not looking forward to it. Once that's done, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what it looks like once I've sanded down the hole as well. It's now many hours later. It's half past four. I've had a really chill day today. It's been quite nice, actually. I mean, I say that I've had a chill day. I have also done a lot of painting. So I've painted all three walls again done another coat on them. They look stunning. This is what they look like from down here. Looking very, very good. Loving it. But basically, the cutting in it took like an hour and a half. I'm not joking. And I don't think it's because I'm slow. I think it's because these walls are absolutely massive. This big wall is five and a half meters long. And where the soft stone starts upwards is about maybe a meter and a half. And then this wall is three and a half meters. Yeah, it took a long time. The rolling took quicker. I think the rolling only took me about 40 minutes. So it took me so, so long. My arm was dead. I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> I also sanded this bad boy down. There are like some bits that like the filler just hasn't gone, like there's lines in it and there shouldn't be. It should just be all level and even and stuff, but it's not. So I don't know whether to put a bit more filler on it. I'm going to ask Deck when he gets home what he thinks we should do. I've not even tried doing anything with this light. I'm stressed about this one. I don't know what they did to it. I don't know if they were like cutting out the hole to like make it and then, cause where they'd had it, I don't think I've got any footage of it from before. It was my it was disgusting and they'd like put um, a plate around it just to hide it all. I've kind of given up on this one. I think I might let Dak do that. But The next thing that I have to do in the hallway is actually get this radiator off. So dad's coming tomorrow to drop the radiator. There we go. He's coming to drop the radiator tomorrow so that I can paint 
behind it and so that this whole wall can get painted. After that, the panelling is going on. Panelling's coming anytime between tomorrow and Monday, so that can get done soon-ish. But this weekend, I think I'll probably do the skirting boards and paint this wall, and then that should probably be it. Dex said that he was gonna paint the ceiling. I don't know if you can see, I got a little bit of paint on the ceiling as I was painting, but there's a really large patch of blue paint there from when the previous owners were doing the walls and just never painted the ceiling again. So that needs redoing. Everything else is just kind of like putting shelves in, putting pictures up, everything like that, which can come at a later date. I'm just really excited for this hallway to be done. It's looking good and I'm really happy with it. It looks way better than what it did before. I didn't like the blue, but I'll be even more happy when it's all done. <laughs> I'm gonna end it there. I hope that you all enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe so that you see what else we get done with the hallway. I'm hoping that it's gonna be done very soon. So the next video should probably be another hallway video. It might not be though. I don't know what else it'd be, but make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.